Hello, what's up? It's your girl, Lily, back again. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. But this is pretty much a vlog of me, yeah, hanging out for fall time. Um, I thought it would be nice to share what the fuck I'm doing during fall, whatever season I'm at, and whatever time I'm at. Honestly, it's just to be real, 2020 is a fucking blur. And let's, yeah, I'm just here just to... Honestly, I don't know why the fuck I'm here. But anyways, enjoy my video of me vlogging and the season of Spirit of Fall. Your girl's never really spirit for really anything. But here's me having a good time. Doing what I need. Having a good time. Yeah. Okay. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Estamos corto. <laughs> sí, ya me lo me voy a caer. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just gonna rock my phone. Yeah, So I was actually supposed to buy a pumpkin at the pumpkin patch, but like I didn't want to carry it. Every I kept seeing everyone having these little wagons and carts and I was like, I should go get one. How did I get one? And like I was just like walking around enjoying outside because I haven't been outside for very long. Well, I feel like it, you know what I mean? Because the Rona. But yeah, like I never end up taking a pumpkin. I just end up going home. And then I realized like, oh shit, I need a pumpkin. And yeah, but it was just me hanging out. I, just, I had a good time, right? We ate some really, really crappy hot dogs at the pumpkin patch. And we spent like, maybe like 25 bucks there. I know that's not that much, but in general, I feel like it was, everything was a piece of shit. So like, it wasn't worth it in general. And but I had a fun time eating crappy food with my fiance. Like, who who wouldn't? You know what I mean? Like, who wouldn't have spend money with someone you care about eating really crappy food? Like, still, I still had a good time. So that was totally fine with me.
right, it's your girl Lily. I've been pretty busy hanging out, doing stuff. I barely actually just took a shower, so my hair is literally so gross and everything. But this is this is life, right? During quarantine, everything's really falling apart. Um, yeah. Um, I've been going. Well, actually, really haven't been going really out often because you know the Rona is still out there and still taking people, and your girl does not want to get Rona. But I did a really fun day with my fiance. I went out and actually saw some little pumpkins and shit. I bought little pumpkin spice uh, creamer, which is rare for me because I hardly buy creamer in general but I was thought I was trying to get in a mood and shit because you know these days everything's all like really crappy and stuff but here's some clips of me just hanging out and like living life I guess um whatever that feels like in 2020 and yeah so subscribe okay see ya you also um give me some ideas of what to dress my cat up because he's looking fugly lately and um i want to dress him up for halloween but i'm thinking i should dress him up a pumpkin uh, a cow or either a security officer so security dog. yeah security you know wear, wear the vest and all that so i'm not a sure ninja cat. or a ninja cat that might be a good idea but drop your comments below if anyone even gonna fucking drop anything but yeah here we are. Here's my ugly ass cat. He's just, he's just so dumb. So dumb. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my plants. It's like the third time me fucking recording this, showing you my plants. Here's my first one, and it's, it's doing fine. You know, like one dead one. It's not a big deal, but it's thriving. It's good. This is my biggest plant, and I had this plant for like two years, two three years now, and it just. It just grows and grows and never wants to stop, which is awesome because it's like I make so much um, plants out of this and all that, you know, propagate and all that shit. And then here's my other little baby plant. This one's doing fine. Grew, this one's brand new, so it's pretty happy doing its thing. Um, let's see. Here's some other good plant. And this is like another plant that I hang from like my ceiling and... Yeah, it's the cool thing about my apartment. It has these really cool ceilings. Honestly, what the fuck is that? What the hell is this? Oh no. What the fuck is that? that? Oh, that's paint. Oh, I don't know what that is. I gotta, I don't know. I'm scared now. Anyways, but this is the plant and it grows literally really long. And shit, yeah. It's almost touching the ground and... This is great. I need to actually cut this. I actually did cut this and it just grew longer. Um, and I'll show you the other plant where I propagate it. Alright, and here is the other one that I said I propagate. Like, I literally cut off so much from it and it's growing already. Like, this is just wild. It's, it's just growing and growing. It's really nice. Um, I hanged this one too from the top. Um, so then I could look all nice and I got these ones these little string thingies from Amazon and thank god they're not that long because my cat literally jumps to like try to eat this and shit and yeah here he is the loser of him doesn't like to be recorded but here he is he's trying to slowly watch the plants so he can eat them and all that Here's my other plant. This is another one that I hang from the top. It's actually from the green one, and as you can tell, this one's going wild. It's doing this one that's doing really good. It's actually from the big plant, so I propagate it and actually tied it up there as well from my apartment, and it's doing fine. Like, it's it's thriving. Like, I don't know. I think I have a green thumb. I think I do. I like to believe I do. Maybe not, but my plants are thriving. It's great, and it has a long-ass string, which is fine. And here's my last plant. It's pretty nice. It's like pretty long. It's this one's doing okay. Not this best. It could be do better, but I mean, I think because this plant intentionally likes to be in some warmer areas, and my apartment's like cold as fuck. It's like cold. And yeah, but it's 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 going. It's doing its best. I think it's recovering. There's some new ones that are popping out, but overall, like, it's fine. I think I might plant it something else it's like a new pot because it seems like it's not doing the greatest but it's somehow growing still so that's great look at 
for that loser. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, that's my favorite bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. Goes back in. What are you doing, Inigo? <laughs> hey. Better not ruin that bag, then. It's one of my favorite bags. This is what he did last time after playing in the bag. He ripped a hole in it. Ugh. Alrighty, so about new seasons now. I'm here for a quick return, actually. So, um, new seasons. All right, I'm actually at not New Seasons. I'm at Whole Foods. Sorry, um, I have also New Seasons. If you guys are from the West Coast, New Seasons pretty very similar to Whole Foods. But anyways, I'm actually here at Whole Foods. I came here to return something. Whole Foods has this really cool thing called Amazon Locker. Um, if you guys don't know that you can return your items at the Amazon Locker at Whole Foods and you pretty much like, yeah, return it there instead of rather going to UPS or USPS or having someone pick it up for you, I guess. Um, our USPS actually, or UPS actually got closed down near where I live because I think they have a COVID case. And so some of their employees got infected and like they've been closed for some time. So I have no other location to return it besides UPS and then maybe like have it someone pick up. But I actually had a really bad experience someone picking up my item. Like they didn't even let me know what time they were going to come by for UPS and suddenly like... I spent hours all day waiting for someone to pick up my package. Hopefully that no one steals my package outside. But anyway, because they have they have more COVID rule restriction for that. But anything's so weird. But let's just get with it. Let's go to let's go to Whole Foods. I'll show you how that return shit goes down, and then um, we'll we'll go from there. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna leave my glasses behind because um, it gets really foggy, and when I wear it with my mask. And yeah, anyways, so life problems, right? Open. And then if it's through here. And then you can fit it through here and sweater and then you close it. Alrighty, so I'm done with Whole Foods for a bit. I just want to go drop off my package. But yeah, I can spend hours in Whole Foods for some reason. But right now, there's a lot of people. It's like really, really, really packed. And so I just kind of got anxiety rose up. And I just like need to leave. Um, and honestly, like I like New Seeds as uh, no, Whole Foods. I mean, why do I keep saying that? I like this. I like Whole Foods, but the environment there, um, I get a lot of like high executives go there and like very rich people who go into like Whole Foods. And it's just like their atmosphere and the people they attract sometimes are really, really rude. Um, and the people there are just like, why are you there? Like, I know I'm not dressed like completely like I live in a Lamborghini all my life, but like in general, I don't, I just get kind of like just just not my um I'm gonna hold you there awkwardly like that. It's just not my style or my my vibe, whatever it is. But Whole Foods is definitely sometimes very intimidating because I just see a lot of people driving their like really expensive cars and all that, and it's just like just so fake you know what I mean like that feeling it's like this is fake 
Um, but yeah, and also, like, I try also their foods, to be honest, for, like, to go. And some of them are pretty good, I gotta say. But I gotta say, like, most of the time, none of their food is fucking seasoned. Like, I don't know why, but it tastes like they didn't even, like, put no seasoning on it. Barely any salt or anything. Like, maybe salt and pepper, but, like, yeah, maybe because maybe cause I'm, like, Latina and stuff or, like, Mexican. But, like, their food is tasteless sometimes. And overly priced. But if... Anyways, I need to make a video at Going to New Seasons. Um, how it's a lot more... I like it a lot more better because the foods are actually from local growers. And where I live and here and Whole Foods, it's just kind of, like, really expensive stuff quality products i gotta say but they're not really supporting like locals or really nearby they'll probably have maybe one or two sections of it but other places not one or two sections of like local growers but the other all the other stuff is just kind of from like from china or either from like best sellers not really places that i would consider like uh local friendly i i guess that's what i'm trying to say you, Maybe I'm like too much for that, but in general, I just feel like that's important to me. Um, and yeah. Okay, so you guys saw already. Anyways, you guys saw already how I returned on my stuff it was super easy. Sorry, you didn't see me punch the numbers in. It's just like you're supposed to punch your number in, and then um, like the code they sent you through Amazon, and then fit your package in to whatever that pops up and then return it that's probably the probably the one of the most quickest thing i like because it's more self-serve um i just get to like um do it don't have to talk to anybody to do it and i don't need to go to like ups and like actually get in line it, it's just like super quick like, it doesn't i never seen anyone in line for it anyways but um yeah it's convenient for me but entering whole foods is always like kind of annoying at times all right let's just head back gloomy gloomy day uh, what a freaking gloomy day okay so i guess i didn't end this video at all like it just kept trailing on and on but anyways my days pretty much days are over right now and i just want to say thanks for tuning in my video i hope you like it um and you like this kind of vlog um feel free to subscribe like and share i'll see you guys next time um right now i'm gonna go and shower and you know look a little decent but i'll see you guys later bye